In his endeavor to empathize with the anguish endured by the family of the victim, Biden draws parallels between his own personal bereavement and their sorrow. All the families and loved ones who are grieving have come here to grieve with you. We all are. Not the same, but I know a little bit about what it's like to lose a piece of your soul. To get that phone call in the middle of the night, say, family members of God, I've been there. It's feeling like having a black hole in your chest, like you're being sucked in, unable to breathe. The anger, the pain, the depth of the loss is so profound. And we know it's hard to believe. You're probably not going to believe me, but it can tell you now from personal experience. The day is going to come when the memory of your loved one as you walk by that park or the church or something that you shared together is going to bring a smile to your lips before it brings a tear to your eye. It's going to happen. It's going to take a while, but I promise you it will happen. And that's when you know you're going to be able to make it. Deciphering Joe Biden's communication as an embodiment of empathy and unity, it becomes imperative to acknowledge and alleviate the emotional anguish of those impacted by the tragedy. Biden's allusion to the eventual process of healing as a beacon of hope and restoration can be dissected as highlighting humanity's capacity to discover solace and significance, even amidst profound grief. Resilience and spiritual fortitude play pivotal roles in inspiring individuals to lean on faith, kinship, and community for support during moments of sorrow and in transcending adversity.